The next major distinction of moving in the wilderness is something called fox walking. And fox walking goes perfectly hand in hand with wide angle vision. What it is, is just a technique for walking silently over terrain. It is excellent for stalking and it is excellent for leaving as little impact as possible and as little trace of the fact that you were there as possible. So I'm going to move the camera down to my feet right now so I can show you exactly how it works. Now you want to get barefoot when you do this. How come? Well again, the more things you have that are isolating your sensitivity to the ground, to the earth, to your surroundings, the less the experience is going to be. So, you know, don't be a knucklehead and go out and walk across broken glass or do something dangerous, but uh, the more time you can spend in the woods without your shoes on, the more you're going to experience, the greater your awareness is going to be because intuitively you're going to pick up on a lot more and you're going to react to your environment a lot differently. So here's how the fox walk works. Um, there's a couple things, I'm going to go over them one at a time. The first one is that when you do the fox walk, you put one foot directly in front of the other. So the, the toe of one foot lines up with the heel of the foot in front of it. And what this does is it creates a much narrower trail that you leave. Now that's important because it leaves less of a presence, less of an indicator of your presence. And if you're walking with multiple people and everyone is fox walking, it's going to conceal how many people you have in your group if someone's tracking you. It's going to do that a lot better because you're basically going to be putting your footprint right inside of the guys that is in front of you. And it's going to be a lot harder to tell how many people are in your group. Now, the next thing about fox walking is how your foot makes contact with the ground. The way it happens is you put first, you put down your outside ball of your foot, the side that is closest to your little toe, then you roll in to your ball of your foot by your big toe, and then finally you lower your heel down. And then you step, outside ball, inside ball, heel down. And that's how the fox walk works. You can do it forward or backward, but essentially it's intended to make very sensitive contact with the earth and maintain your awareness and tactile feel of the ground. And again, your awareness is going to expand greatly because you're not isolated by a shoe. The fox walk is also great because at any point in it, you can come to a complete freeze. So if you're stalking an animal or a person or something like that, and they turn your direction with their gaze, you can freeze at any given point and have total stillness, especially the more you practice this. Now in the beginning, um, coming from having shoes, it's going to be a lot more difficult to get this down. But with any amount of experience and time out in the woods, this will become second nature to move this way and it will actually feel much more comfortable to move this way and you won't want to walk as you did before. So now you have two new tools that you can use the next time you go out in the wilderness that will greatly increase your awareness of your surroundings. And I want to emphasize again that I think these two things, fox walking and wide angle vision, are absolutely critical and absolutely foundational for the survivalist to have under his belt because it increases your awareness. And in survival, just about everything can be funneled down to a factor of awareness. The more aware you are, the better your chances are of surviving out here. And not only surviving, but having an enjoyable experience on top of it. And even furthermore, having a real sense of connection out here in the wilderness and having a, an inspiring experience. And for me, that is actually what the survival skills are all about. You know, I don't come out here to train out of fear. I don't come out here to conquer nature and to muscle through it and just barely live to tell about it. To me, that is not what survival is about. What it is about is coming out here, having that sense of connection, having um, a sense of confidence in oneself to be self-reliant, and also just having that feeling of inspiration and accomplishment that you can then go and share with other people. So that's where I find the skills to be most powerful in my life and I do realize it's different for each person. Now, 
having said that, that's one aspect of why awareness is so important, it's that sense of connection. But if you want to look at just a hard physical needs aspect of wilderness survival, let me relate an experience to you from my learning. Before I really embraced the mindset that comes with doing these techniques of fox walking and wide angle vision, I would come out here to practice skills for a day or two and I'd have this mental checklist, things I need to get done. Okay, I need to find a shelter location. I need to build my shelter. I need to find a water source. I need to purify it. I need to build a bow drill fire, make a fire, etc., etc. I'd start working on this stuff in the most chaotic manner. I'd be zigzagging and racing from hilltop to hilltop and just wasting tremendous amounts of energy. And by the time I got anything done, it's questionable as to whether or not it had really helped me. So the mindset I have now, I come out in the woods, what's the first thing I do? Fox walk and wide angle vision. Why? Because it increases my awareness. My awareness is increased, I come out here, I can travel a much, much smaller circle. Before, I was zooming right past the great Bodro materials and racing through and missing the perfect shelter location and not paying attention and seeing all the great resources that were right there in front of my eyes. Fox walking and wide angle vision will give you access to that awareness. So that's the benefit from a hard physical needs survival standpoint and like I said before then you've got the the experience, the inspiring spiritual thing too. So with all that being said there's one last thing that I've got to impart which is do not be an armchair survivalist. When you're done watching this video you know, get out there, make a commitment to yourself to live this way and to at least experience it and see if you like it because I guarantee you, watching me take a few steps across the camera and watching me go into wide angle vision is not going to be an experience where you really get it. You gotta get out there, you gotta learn it for yourself and you gotta make it your own. So, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I've enjoyed spending this time with you and sharing this topic. If you did enjoy it, be sure to check out the website at hedgehogleatherworks.com. Also, be sure to get on our email newsletter. It is jam-packed with survival information, and I'm sure you'll love it. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Paul Scheider, and I'll see you next time.